Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is race number 10 in season number 2 of the NRLOA ARCA Racing Series, presented by Krispy Kreme, the last race before Thanksgiving, with the Thanksgiving 500 coming up on Thursday. We already recorded that race, by the way, and let me tell you, it was a good one. And this race here is going to be a good one as well, starting off my favorite weeks of the year, Thanksgiving week. We off, hopefully off. I, I'll find out tomorrow. I'll find out Friday. Recording this Thursday, I'm gonna find out tomorrow. I'm not gonna go to work even though I'm not working tomorrow. I grab a schedule because I'm just so nervous. I don't know if I'm gonna get Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday off. I I hope that I will. Uh, but assuming that everything goes to plan. My first day off is actually technically today. I went to school today and all that. It's Tuesday. And, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next few days. That's just all I can say. It's going to be fun kicking off these few days off here with the ARCA Racing Series at Chicagoland. Kind of a tradition to have a Chicagoland race this time of year. And uh, the ARCA Series will be doing it this year. The Truck Series will be going to Chicagoland a couple weeks from now. Um, but tonight we got the ARCA Racing Series here. And we got a very interesting scenario up front for this one. The number 30 of Annie Thomas is the points leader. She starts on the pole. But she's only the points leader because she has a win. And the guy she's tied with for that points lead does not. And the guy she's tied with is starting third right behind her. Tyler Ryan in the number 9. These points are exceptionally tight. Matthew Phillips, the Michigan winner, is one point behind. Brad Stover, Toledo winner. Is three points behind in the last winner here in the ARCA Racing Series. Daniel Bouchard, who won the first race at Pocono earlier this season in the IRP last week, is only five points behind coming into this event. And there are only five races left in the season. We got Chicagoland, Kentucky, Winchester, Kansas, and the finale at Talladega. And here we are for race 10 of the season here in Illinois, one of the best mile-and-a-half racetracks we go to in all of Napa Fan, and it's going to be a great race here today. Let's go ahead and get this party started. The engines will fire right now with the starting command. Gentlemen, start your engines! And a great command there to fire these guys up for the Scott 150. 20 laps of action here around this one-and-a-half-mile speedway. And it is going to be very fascinating to see how this whole thing shakes out with our points leader leading the field to the green flag. And Annie Thomas, the South Boston winner from earlier this season. And uh, we'll see if she can hold off the rest of the field. She has Aiden Shepard alongside her there on the front row. In row number two, we got Tyler Ryan who is tied with Annie Thomas for the points lead. Annie Thomas does hold the tiebreaker coming into this race. Alongside Tyler Ryan, the number 11 car, driven by Adam Lewis. We got ourselves the number 67 of Tyler Lyman, starting alongside Luke Rainey in the 69. Row number 4, Lauren Martinez and Richard Kinghart. In row 5 is the 23 there. That's um, Chase Marks driving that car. I forgot that he did drive that car. And the 71 of Eli Wright. Top 10 starting positions here tonight for the Scott 150. In the ARCA Racing Series presented by Krispy Kreme, it looks like all 33 drivers ready to roll off for this one. And we're going to get this party started here with our points leader leading the field to the green flag. Annie Thomas, Adam Shepard, the pace car is pulled off. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Let's get this party started. The race is on. We're green flag racing at Chicagoland.
Oh, and already in the wall, that's Tyler Ryan. And we got some carnage down the backstretch. Chase marks around. And the 18 of Matthew Phillips, that's Micah Knapp, destroyed in the 33. They got into each other off of turn number two, and chaos ensued. And Annie Thomas wins the race back to the line. That was an almost perfect scenario for her, but Tyler Ryan got out of that without too much damage, so... I think it's far from over for Annie Thomas staying in the points lead. Look at this, the 81 McMillan, Joe Jefferson. I believe he might have had another crash as well after the one down the back stretch. Wow. First lap of action. And that's actually Matthew Phillips in the 81. The 18 car is driven by Josh Crash. See McMillan and Joe Jefferson in the pit lane. There's Luke Graney with damage. Chase Marks and Micah Knapp went right around. They might have been the only drivers who gained any significant damage in the accident. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what happened to bring out the first caution of the night. Annie Thomas, the leader, here in the Scott 150 at Chicagoland. All right, this is what happened here to bring out the first caution. Aiden Shepard... Moved up the racetrack a little bit here, and Adam Lewis tries to get to the inside of him. The number 11 taps him slightly, and that's what sends these guys almost around. Tyler Ryan ended up hitting the outside wall there, along with Aiden Shepard, and then Shepard came back down, and Luke Rainey in the 69 clipped him, and chaos ensued from there. Chase Marks going around in the 23. You see Rainey and Josh crash. Also go around with the 37. That's the 16 of Noah Clifton hitting the 23 there. Significant damage on his machine. The number 15 of James Richardson as well. And Micah Knapp in the 33 with damage too. And uh, you see Jaden Scott Cameron Garlington there as well. Daniel McMillan tapping the 33 there near the end. And there was an issue at the start right when they crossed the start finish line. The number 32 of Joe Jefferson had an issue, and it actually caused these four guys back in here um, to be a little ways behind this accident when it occurred. Now, these guys did not avoid um, I'm getting involved in the crash, I have to say. Excuse me there. See Matthew Phillips getting spun around there in the 81. And then Joe Jefferson and these guys are going to run right into him. Jefferson, this is where he accumulates his damage. And I believe Chase Marks might have gotten involved again as well. He did avoid the 81 there, but uh, that's what happened to the 32 there. Knocking out the number 32 for the rest of this race. Replay this in real time and... It's a very chaotic incident here. All these drivers getting involved in the first lap of the race. I got Knapp, that is a very hard and violent hit for him. And Matthew Phillips got clipped there by Jaden Scott trying to get back out onto the racetrack. And the 20 ended up hitting him. And then Joe Jefferson massively hit the 81. That is not good at all for the number 81. He was one point behind the points leader heading into this race. It's not going to be the case at the end of the day. Andy Thomas, the points leader and the leader of the race. Let's see what he, what she does, I should say, on the restart here in the Scott 150 at Chicagoland. Back here at the Chicagoland Speedway and coming to the restart, another top point contender, Daniel Bouchard with an issue. He might have gained some damage from that accident. You see the damage to his race car peeking out of line and giving up, I believe, 10th position here. The tough break for the number 10 who won the last race here in the ARCA Racing Series. Annie Thomas, Tyler Lyman, Adam Lewis, Lauren Martinez, and the number 9 of Tyler Ryan. Still in this thing, still the chance at taking the points lead back from the number 30. Micah Knapp, Joe Jefferson, and the Joe Gibbs Racing teammates of Josh Crash and Matthew Phillips knocked out. And I believe the number 10 of Daniel Bouchard will also exit the race as well, leaving 29 drivers left on the racetrack. Hopefully these guys will get some laps in here. And uh, we can possibly race this thing to green to the end. There goes Tyler Lyman to the inside of Annie Thomas for the lead. 
And, and this is one guy we have talked about hardly at all, all season long. Tyler Lyman taking the lead on lap six. And uh, he has not had the best of seasons, let me tell you that. Uh, but uh, here he is up front taking the lead from the points leader in the series. A little bit of a gap here. You got Nathan Baird and Jonathan King kind of split up here. Jonathan King, the winner of the second Pocono race from earlier this season. It's two weeks ago today. And, uh, Jonathan King ended up winning that race. Here's the 22 of Isaac Nichols, James Richardson, and Brad Stover. Now Stover's up there in the points. Only three points behind Any Thomas coming into today's event. But Any Thomas, she wants to get this win and pull away from Tyler Ryan in the points. And considering how close Tyler Ryan is to her in the points, she definitely would love a victory because that would gain her a few more points than that number nine and uh, give her a little bit of a cushion between first and second. If you win as the points leader, you got a good chance at winning the championship. Trey Barto did the same last year here at Chicagoland. He was the points leader coming into this race, and he won this race as well. And he went on to win the Turkey Hill Series championship. Richard Kinghart. Looking to the inside of Annie Thomas for the lead now. And he's got a lap car in the way. That's Daniel Bouchard. He gets two laps down. They repair whatever the issue was on that machine. And all of a sudden, the number 67 of Tyler Lyman poked his way to the lead. And he's going to lead lap number nine. Only two leaders so far in this race. Tyler Lyman and Annie Thomas. But uh, we might see the 52 try to get the lead away from him here. Um, and not too much time at all. He actually slowed it down there on that inside lane. Thomas is going to remain in the second position. Lauren Martinez is going to take third from the 52. These guys are all over the place on the racetrack right now. There might be an issue with the 52 of Richard King. Or he really seems to be going slow there on that inside lane. And everybody seems to be held up by him right now. So Tyler Lyman, the leader at the halfway point of the Scott 150 here at Chicagoland. Lauren Martinez and Philip Goldberg right behind Annie Thomas. Oh my goodness, Annie Thomas taking a very low lane there. Trying to block the 77, trying to get this low line to work and get to the 67. She almost got clipped there by the 77 of Lauren Martinez, but fortunately she did not. And Annie Thomas remains in the second position. Even if Annie Thomas doesn't win this race, she wants to get a strong finish and keep that points lead away from the rest of the field exiting today's event. She's been the points leader for quite some time this season, and she'd love to win her first ever championship on Amsterdam this season in the Arthur Racing Series. So very, very aggressive there from number 30 blocking that 77. They have now hit the number 10 of Daniel Bouchard, Tyler Lyman, trying to get around him, and this is going to hurt the 67 a little bit. Annie Thomas looking to close in. Philip Goldberg, Lauren Martinez, and Richard Kinghart now the top five. I believe Kinghart is okay in the 52. Not exactly sure what the problem was earlier on when he was kind of slowing down there through the corners. Anyways, Tyler Ryan has fallen outside the top 10, so that's good news for Annie Thomas, currently running second. You see Tyler Ryan all the way back here behind this three-wide situation with Brad Stover, the 02 of Igor Barreto, and Jonathan King in the 01. And Nathan Stapleton back here, Noah Cars and Cameron Garlington with Edwin Mendez and James Richardson in this second pack here. And then we got some stragglers with Ace Garcia, Aiden Shepard, Justin Zidell, Jaden Scott. The number 71 is damaged. Same with Noah Clifton, Chase Marks, and Daniel McMillan. And for the lead, here comes Annie Thomas trying to run the inside. It's really tough to get the inside lane to work here at Chicagoland, and Annie Thomas was not able to get it through the trioval. Here comes Philip Goldberg for second on the points leader, and Goldberg trying to get an advantage on the 30 so he can have a shot at the 67, but it's been Tyler Lyman, the dominant guy so far in this race. We're coming to five laps to go in the Scott 150 here at Chicagoland. So Tyler Lyman gets it. With five laps to go, Annie Thomas able to hold off Philip Goldberg. Nathan Baird, the Iowa winner from three weeks ago, I think. Yeah, I don't know. That might have been four weeks ago. I can't even remember, but it's been a while. But he still has won a race this season, trying to get his second win of the season. Annie Thomas trying to get her second win of the season. And uh, got a lot of guys back in here trying to get their first wins of the season. Like Richard Kinghart, Lauren Martinez, and Nick Smith, the defending champion. Four laps to go for Tyler Lyman. Annie Thomas has not fallen behind. 
She has been behind this 67 practically the whole race. But here comes the 55 now to the inside for second on the number 30. And this time I think Philip Goldberg is going to be able to get the advantage. He has help from Nathan Baird on the inside lane right there. And that 5 is going to push that 55 past the 30. Well, that battling for second place is exactly what Tyler Lyman wants to see with three laps to go. But Philip Goldberg has cleared Annie Thomas for second. And Goldberg appears to have a very fast race car in that number 55. Coming to two laps to go here in the Scott 150. Tyler Lyman has led the most laps here today. They were almost four wide off the corner there. King Hart, Smith, and Bouchard. Number 67 still out front. Philip Goldberg trying to chase him down. He is closing in fast right here. Getting that draft on the number 67. They're going fast enough for a draft to come into play. And Philip Goldberg will dive to the inside. A lot 19 of 20, but the inside lane not working for him right now. Annie Thomas looking to help the 55. And it's a three-car battle for the win with one lap to go here at Chicagoland. Tyler Lyman still out front in the 67. Here comes the 30 of Annie Thomas. Nathan Baird in the five. I think Thomas has a good shot. But Nathan Baird's going to make it three wide for second. And the number five looking to make this one interesting. Lyman still out front trying to block everybody. Annie Thomas in the 30 trying to get a run. Will it be enough? No, it won't. Tyler Lyman will win the Scott 150 here at Chicagoland. His first win of the season in the Inner Way Arca Racing Series presented by Krispy Kreme. Able to hold off the points leader, but still a very strong night for Annie Thomas. She will remain the points leader exiting tonight's event with the strong second place run. But how about Tyler Lyman in the number 67? I believe it's his third career Napa fan win. His first one came in the Santa Claus 100, the late model special event at Kalamazoo, which will be returning this year, by the way, to Napa fan. Looking forward to doing that race, possibly alongside Elijah Gordon. Looking forward to that one a lot, and Lyman will be in it. But uh, one of the few wins Tyler Lyman has gained, his third Tour of Napa fan win here tonight in the Scott 150 at Chicagoland. And once Lyman took the lead, nobody else took it away from him, and Lyman in victory lane here tonight at the Chicagoland Speedway. Annie Thomas, Philip Goldberg, Nathan Baird, and Lauren Martinez, the top five for today's event. Uh, only had that one crash on the first lap of the race. The rest of the race went green flag. You see the guys getting knocked out. Luke Rainey, Mike Anath, Joe Jefferson, Josh Crash, and Matthew Phillips failing to finish here tonight at Chicagoland Speedway. Anyways, Annie Thomas in the number 30 will remain in the points lead after today's event. Next event here is at Kentucky, and uh, you saw the trucks there. You know there could be a lot of passing at that racetrack, and uh, they were passing like crazy in the truck series when they went there about a month ago. I think we're going to see the same thing with the Arca series uh, next week, I should say, uh, when this series heads to the Kentucky Speedway for the whatever it is, 150. I, I can't even remember the sponsor. But you know what? We're having fun, and Tyler Lyman is having fun as well. The winner here at the Chicago Lamb Speedway of the Scott 150, 39, 36, 16, 36 points towards the championship for the number 67 here tonight. Thank you guys very much for watching. Next race is going to be at Kentucky, and don't forget the Thanksgiving 500. going to be 8 a.m. on Thursday morning. It's a great race. You do not want to miss it. Of course, you really can't miss it because we're not going to be broadcasting it live. It's going to be uh, just a normal video like it always is. But still, it is a great race, and I definitely recommend you check it out. Caleb Hoffman was in the booth for us with that race, and uh, he did a great job co-commentating. Definitely recommend watching it Thanksgiving morning right here on Napa Fan. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching once again. Congratulations to Tyler Lyman, and here are the points for the Enter the Way Arca Racing Series presented by Krispy Kreme. I will see you guys later.